initial block setup. In this part 2 series of the tutorial, we'll continue on to finish activating your account which you have created previously, and then we'll access your dashboard and begin using your blog. Let's start by checking your email. This should be an email from CourseWeb. Access it, and there should be a link inside which you can activate your account. So we'll click onto that. This will open a browser, and it will tell you your account is now active. And note that there is a username as well as a temporary password. Copy the password, which you'll use later. Log in. Type in your username again. And the password, I'll just paste it from which I copied from the previous screen. Click log in. And this is your dashboard, which you'll be posting from here. So we'll click into site and then click view to see how it looked like on the front end. So you can see that the site title is shown here as well as the content. Uh, for now, we'll leave it the way it is. And we will go ahead and open a new tab and we'll access the course blog. So depending which course you are taking, 1160 or 2295, you can type in the corresponding uh, URL shown here. So I typed in 2295 for example, and this will bring me to the course web page. So note that you are still logged into your account until you click log out. So let's recap. First, we open our email and we verify that we have received the activation email from course web. Then we click into it and we'll find the activation link to click upon. Once we're into that link, a browser will open to indicate our username and password. So make sure we remember that. And then we'll log in using this information. And then once we're in, we should be seeing the dashboard. Uh, click the site name to look at the front end of it. And then just to make sure your site title is correct. Next, we'll access the course blog, whether you're taking 1160 or 2295. Uh, make sure you can access it and then bookmark it for future reference.